Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? So we're going to continue with one of our recent themes of drawing human cartoon bodies, and more specifically, drawing some of the people that inhabited the world of Hanna-Barbera, and even more specifically, the gang from Scooby-Doo. Last week we drew Shaggy. Today we're going to draw Velma, whose full name is Velma Dinkley. Be spectacled, brilliant, sometimes socially awkward Velma, who has demonstrated, among other things throughout the numerous versions of Scooby-Doo, the ability to to distinguish fake from real jewels, a knowledge of Morse code, and a passion for ice hockey, along with being extremely strong. Anyway, as we did with Shaggy, we're going to do two drawings of Velma, a front-facing and a profile, so you can get a good feel for what she really looks like, okay? But before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Alright, so let's draw the one and only Velma Dinkley from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> We're going to draw Velma step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw her again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this drawing, Velma is five heads tall. In other words, however tall her head is, her entire body, from both angles, is five of those tall. One other thing to point out about our drawing today. Much like our drawings of Shaggy, Velma wears clothing that somewhat obscures her body. In Shaggy's case, it was the loose baggy t-shirt and pants. In Velma's case, it's a bulky sweater. You'll notice that I will not start by drawing the contours of those sweater sleeves or that big collar. As with all my character drawings, I will start by roughing out a simple representation of Velma's body and then draw the details of that clothing on top of that simple frame. Watch for this in the first step. I do this to get a feel for the character's proportions and pose. It's much harder to do if you try to go right to drawing her sweater sleeves and collar, as well as her skirt. Anyway, what do you say we lay out the roadmap for Velma from Scooby-Doo? So there's our roadmap for Velma. Now we're on to step two. In step two, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put Velma's glasses, eyes, nose, mouth, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out our two angles of Velma from Scooby-Doo.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for Velma. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw on the final details of our two angles of Velma. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work to figure that out. As I often say, I want you to be present. And what I mean by that is you don't want to just mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. As you draw in that final line, you want to be thinking about it, thinking about how to improve it, staying vigilant until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for Velma from Scooby-Doo. And that's how you do it. There you have it, our second character from Hanna-Barbera's Scooby-Doo series, Velma Dinkley. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn Velma before, then you can't expect to have drawn her perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring Velma during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have that secret formula, the process for drawing Velma facing forward and in profile. And with that, you can draw her again and again. And by all means, color her when you're done. I promise each time you draw her, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your Velma poses. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.